Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, you know this guy back here. That is the Power Egg drone, and that thing was super expensive when it first came out, and then it went down in price, and now it's discontinued. You can't buy it anymore because it's been replaced by the little mini egg drone right here. And this thing, you see how I have it all set up? That's designed so that it can land on water and fly in snow and the rain and everything else. So in this video, I'm gonna take this guy and I'm gonna go land it on water. Now we have a problem because in my area, everything's closed. So my access to the beaches and the parks and the rivers and the lakes is kind of closed because of this COVID-19 virus. So I can't really go to some big open water areas. So I'm gonna take it to a place where water just runs off and it's pretty dirty water and uh, land it on that. Except I'm gonna do something a little different then you're probably gonna see in other videos. I'm gonna take it and land it on water with the bubble on, cause that's the waterproof thing. Then I'm gonna take the bubble off and still land it on water so there's no waterproofing just to make sure it still works. Because if you leave the bubble on, you have no obstacle avoidance and you have no sensors to do anything for tracking. But if you take the bubble off, you do. But I'm wondering if you take the bubble off and land on water, does it mess everything up? Does it just go and it flip over and sink or something? Anyways, I don't know. We're gonna go try it out. Check this out. This is the middle of April and it snowed yesterday. Yes, it snowed in my area. So I'm gonna be flying from over there. Here I have the waterproof case on the drone and uh, I'm gonna go land it on some water. All right, coming down for a water landing. And this case is on, so this is what it does. And there we go. Now, if I land it all the way onto the water and turn off the motors, then uh, if there's any sort of motion in the water, I can't take off because it won't recalibrate itself. Bring it on down, land. Okay, I'm gonna shut the motors off this time. Sometimes if it's bouncing around too much, it just won't take off, let's see. Good, got the motors going, so uh, let's go straight up. There we go. Water dripping off it from the bottom. All right, so here I am down here. The plastic case is on the Power Egg X. And if the sun's out like it is now, the sun is behind the Power Egg. Uh, anytime you put a plastic case or any sort of like filter or anything over any sort of camera, light bounces around inside. So let me just show you, I'm gonna rotate it here as I move around the sun. There you go. I see him on the bottom. Looks like a rainbow on the bottom left. That is the light bouncing around in the plastic case. So when you have a plastic case on, you know, you can get pretty good video, but every now and then you might get that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the plastic case off and fly it around with the pontoons on, but no plastic case and still land it in the water. So let me just bring it down for a landing. Take that off, take this off, and it should just pop right out. There we go, take this off. And there we have it, no case, but I do have the pontoons on still, so we can fly it like that. All right, let's take off. There we go, no case on our little drone. Now I'm gonna point it over in the sun. Looking at the sun, looking around, I can move the camera up, looking at the sun, looks okay. Looking straight ahead, looking down a bit at the water. And if I yaw it, you'll see I have none of that sun reflecting inside, so you wanna get the best image, leave the bubble off. All right, let's land this in the water, same idea. And there we are, landed. So you can see with the case off, it's nicely out in the water. It's just, just moving with the wind right now, but uh, yeah, it uh, floats nicely. No water ended up underneath the belly. If I look underneath, now it's floating away on me. So I gotta go and catch it. It's going downstream. Come on this way, come on this way, Power Egg. Everything looks good.
you see me back here? Check this out. We have snow on the side of the hill. When I woke up this morning, there was snow everywhere in my car. I had to uh, take the snow off the car to come out here. It's pretty cold. I do have a uh, warm jacket on. You know, just yesterday it was raining and it was plus 17 degrees Celsius yesterday. And today is zero degrees Celsius. So it must have been pretty cold overnight to get that snow. Anyways, enough about that. Let me tell you quickly what I learned about the Power Egg X. If you put the bubble on and the pontoons and land in water, it has to be stable. It cannot flop around like this in waves or anything, or it will not take off. It can't calibrate, so be mindful of that. Uh, next thing I learned is if you take the bubble off, the app will ask you before you take off, are you flying it without the waterproof accessories? And I said, you are exactly right I am, but I lied because I left the pontoons on. Well, it tries to fly as if it's got no pontoons. And guess what? <laughs> it doesn't fly very well because the pontoons are a drag. So when it tilts to go forward, it's got these pontoons and it's going, what the heck is hauling my rear end behind? You know, I can't, I can't move fast enough forward. So it's, it has a few problems and if there's wind, it literally tries to compensate and flops around in the wind like this. I don't know if you could see it in the video, probably not because it was far away when I was flying it at full speed, but I could see it in the air. So I had to slow it down. So I learned that if you take the bubble off and leave the pontoons on and then tell it that there are no waterproof accessories, you have to fly it slow. Same problem too, if you land in the water without the uh, bubble on, it's okay. It doesn't splash up enough water to wreck your drone. So you can do that. You get better video without the bubble on anyways, and all the features work. Um, but when you land, same thing. If it's moving around like this, it won't calibrate to take off again. So that's what I learned today. I hope this was informative for everybody. It was informative for me because I'm going to take this out in different waters. And uh, that would have been kind of scary if I took it out of a place with waves, like on a lake or a river, and then it's just floating away because I can't take off again. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I have two thumbs here. Can you see them with all this white stuff behind me? And uh, I'll catch you in another video in the future, hopefully with warmer weather and different places that I I have to fly now that all my parks are closed. So until then, check out the links below. I have links to where you can get the Power Egg X, but more importantly, I have links to all my reviews on the Power Egg X. I've done so many of them in the winter and all the other features and using it like a camera and all sorts of things. So check those out if you want to know all about this drone. All right, guys, see you in the next video.